The search for a right compact SUV can be a tedious task, especially when you have competition like the Hyundai Creta, Kia Seltos, Volkswagen Tiger, Maruti Suzuki Grand Vitara and the Honda Elevate. For all your new car buying needs, there is Carlelo.com, an online marketplace that helps you select the right car, get the best price and finance option all from the comfort of your home. Nai car, hum hai na yaar. Did you hear the name Honda Elevate? Yes, this is Honda's sole SUV offering. A rather late introduction into the compact SUV segment, let us now take a closer look at what all it has to offer. By the look of it, the SUV does appear imposing. This is simply due to the way it has been designed and the stance that it has to offer. Though I am not personally a big fan of this huge grille, I feel that it could have been a bit more compact. It nevertheless offers the Honda logo. The chrome bar that you see on top adds character while the projector headlamps, fog lamps and the skid plate that you see complete the front look. Though the strongest point of the Honda Elevate has to be its 220mm of ground clearance. Coming to the side, the presence of black plastic lighting is very much evident. The use of subtle wheel arches further adds appeal, while the silver side skirt that you see here helps its cause. The chunky side view mirror that you see offers a side view camera that helps you navigate through traffic. What you also get to see are these chrome bits and this sun visor which are a part of aftermarket fitment. The presence of 17 inch alloy wheels further helps complete the overall proportions of this SUV. Towards the rear, the slanting tailgate offers a roof mounted spoiler, edge shaped LED tail lamps connected via a bar, the model name Elevate and a chunky bumper that complete its look. Now that we are on the inside, the cabin comes across as conventional and premium. I really like this wooden insert and the leatherite material which has been used that provides a premium feel. The 10.25 inch touchscreen that you find here offers functions like Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Though it misses out on navigation, the system is intuitive and allows you to control most functions with ease. The AC controls that you see here offer toggle switches with elegant screen. The AC vent in the front are a bit too small to my liking. Personally, I have always liked the instrument clusters that Honda make and this one is no different. It displays all relevant information pertaining to the SUV. If we look at the feature wise, there is no panoramic sunroof like most of the competition, but a single pane sunroof still does the job. It lacks electronically adjustable driver seat, plus there are no ventilated front seats on offer. If ignored, what you do get are these comfortable seats offering great amount of cushioning while the lumbar support is also fairly decent. For added convenience, there is also a wireless charger thrown into the package that helps you recharge your phone while on the go. Now that we are seated at the rear of this SUV, the Elevate offers great amount of space for your head, shoulders as well as legs. From comfort point of view, it offers great amount of cushioning while the lumbar and under thigh support is also fairly deep. In terms of accommodating three individuals, it would be a tight fit, especially due to the center seat, which is a bit raised. That said, from a convenience point, you get these flaps for storing stuff and a separate pocket to keep your cell phone handy. Due to the scorching heat, I did miss the sun blinds, which are not a part of the package. But then the rear AC vents kept me cool nevertheless. To store luggage, this SUV offers 458 liters of boot space. As you can see, it can accommodate quite a lot of stuff as the loading bay is also fairly low and easy to access. Now to the driving part. With the clear intent of providing a true SUV-like feel, the driving position is high as it provides a great view of the road ahead and around. 
The Elevate comes equipped with Honda's tried and tested 1.5 liter petrol engine that delivers 121 bhp of power output with 145 nm of peak torque. The 6 speed manual transmission is fairly easy to use as it hands out short shifts and also the clutch is fairly light which will be a boon in city use. The ride quality is very decent as it goes over potholes and broken roads with utter ease. As for handling, given its stance, the SUV does well to provide minimum amount of body roll. Despite that, throw it at corners or curves and it will not lose its grip. The Elevate also offers Honda Sensing Adastec that uses camera instead of radar function. There is no 360 degree camera plus there is a lane watch camera that helps you navigate through traffic. Given the attempt at the highly popular compact SUV segment, Honda seemed to have done quite a few things right with the Elevate. They managed to retain key attributes like an imposing exterior design, premium quality interior, comfort performance and driving dynamics. Though lack of features and powertrain options might turn away a few of those new car buyers, but again, Honda loyalists and fans will definitely want to have a closer look at this SUV. Currently, prices for Honda Elevate start at Rs 11.6 lakh and go all the way up to 16.43 lakh X showroom. If you like this video, do like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. नई कार हम है ना यार